What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Dope. All right, man, look. All right, man, look. So I had a show business partner uh, DM me. Um, Instagram, you can do that. I have a lot, though. I haven't been able to get through all of them, but um, one in particular, I just thought it was very appropriate for today. Um, and once I, you know, talk, speak on this, you can kind of put it together. So Riddick Bowe versus Lennox Lewis. Why didn't that fight happen? Can I speak on it a bit? Who do I think would have won? Stuff like that. So I think it's very appropriate. I mean, the story is something else. And I thought it was a brilliant question. So let me dive in. A lot of you guys know what happened in the 1990s. That is the biggest fight that never happened. Lennox Lewis versus Riddick Bowe, right? 1992, we were close to it. And then Riddick Bowe, he dropped the WBC belt into the trash can. How did we get there? Well, we got to say it all started back in the 1988 Olympics, right? Super heavyweight finals, Olympic finals. Lennox Lewis versus Riddick Bowe. Riddick Bowe, he comes out, you know, throwing some good punches. I mean, he landing, he just outscoring Lennox Lewis the first round, okay? The, there was a headbutt, right? But the head hit the stomach of Lennox Lewis, and that's a head, headbutt in the amateur, so he got Dr. Point for that. But Riddick Bowe, he won the first round. Come out in the second round, Riddick Bowe wasn't really the same, I mean. It was Lennox Lewis who shouldn't have been the same. We know that Lennox Lewis, he broke his thumb on his right hand earlier, okay? So he was only pumping the jab. He couldn't really use his right hand. He threw some punches to the body, but that was the reason for his inactivity. Everybody's like, uh-oh, I mean, Riddick Bowe's about to take it. Lennox Lewis, I mean, he, the thumb has to be on his mind, right? Well, second round, something weird happened. Riddick Bowe, he's not really active, come out a little bit lethargic. Lennox Lewis, bam, hit him with the right hand, stunned him. Oh, wait a minute. And the amateurs, that's a knockdown. Standing eight count. Let's go again. Fight. Boom! Lennox Lewis hit him again with a right hand. Standing eight count. No, what? No. Knockout. Called it a knockout. Lennox Lewis, victorious. He beats Riddick Bow. Fast forward. Riddick Bow, he beats Evander Holyfield. I mean, personally, one of my favorite fights of all time. Holyfield versus Riddick Bow, that thing is a classic. They went to war in there. Riddick Bow, he unified, he steps out of the ring. Then he has war of words with Lennox Lewis. They're talking. Riddick Bow, he says something, and the mic is on. It's, I mean, it's very, very documented. Just go on YouTube. And Riddick Bow, he's like, I never landed on my back. You didn't knock me out. Lennox Lewis said, I'm going to knock you out when we fight. Riddick Bow tells him to watch his mouth, calls him a sucker. I haven't heard that since, like, you know, that's some 70s type stuff. But he said, Watch your mouth, sucker. See, the WBC made Lennox Lewis the mandatory. Lennox Lewis, he knocked out Razor Ruddick. Riddick Bowe, he was the man now. He got the titles. Riddick Bowe, did he fight Lennox Lewis? No. <laughs> Dropped the WBC title in a trash can. I thought Riddick Bowe, Riddick Bowe wanted to fight Lennox Lewis. Looked like he was very much into it. Lennox Lewis and him going back and forth. I mean, this is some serious stuff here. Looked like they were about to fight after the fight. Trash can. What happened? Well, Rock Newman got involved. That's the manager of Riddick Bowe. Rock Newman got involved. Now Lennox Lewis isn't talking to Riddick Bowe. Lennox Lewis is talking to Rock Newman. See, Rock Newman, he had his cash cow in Riddick Bowe. I mean, do you want to lose it all? I just got my cash cow. I got him. Now I'm going to lose it all against Lennox Lewis, who beat him one time before. Hey, look, you shouldn't fight him. Riddick Bowe drops the belt in the trash can. See, that's what happens. That's what happens when the managers get involved. Now, you start thinking, Andy Ruiz, WBA, WBC, wants him to fight Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, he has a fight against Ortiz, Bob Arum. He wants his fighter, Tyson Fury. Wait, hold up. Andy Hearn is like, hey, hey, how about my fight, Anthony Joshua? You got the rematch. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. How about when Deontay Wilder was uh, supposedly going to fight AJ in those negotiations? And all of a sudden, it's the war of the promoters. It's Andy Hearn and Shelly Fink and Al Heyman. And now the fans are like, I'm on Andy Hearn's side. No, 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 no. No, I'm with Al Heyman and all. Dude, the fighters. You forget, it's about two fighters fighting in the ring. That's how stuff happens, man. Who would have won that fight? Riddick Bowe versus Lennox Lewis. Well, you say Lennox Lewis already beat him. He beat him in the amateurs. Well, amateurs different. Let's check out Mike Tyson, what Mike Tyson has to say. <laughs> like going to Mike Tyson. Let's see what we have. 
over here somewhere. Mike Tyson says, on June 10th, 1984, I finally got my shot at the Olympics. My qualifying fight was against Henry Tillman, right? An older and more experienced boxer. In the first round, I knocked him almost through the ropes. Then he was up and I stalked him for the next two rounds. But in amateur boxing, aggression isn't rewarded. And my knockout counted the same as a little tippy tap jab. That's what he called it. When they announced the decision, I couldn't believe they gave it to Tillman. Gave it to Tillman. <laughs> amateur boss, different. You saw what Mike Tyson did to Tillman when they went up to professional level. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Still though, there was something that, that happened in that amateur fight with Lennox Lewis and Reddick Bow in the Olympics. That was very professional. It was Lennox Lewis who thumped was injured. It was Lennox Lewis who had things to worry about before the fight. Riddick Bow, on the other hand, it was him who got less active the second round. It was Lennox Lewis who turned up his activity. See, boxing is 90% mental. Bow, aggressive. You saw him after Evander Holyfield fight. Emotional. Watch your mouth. Is that the same as courage? Lennox Lewis displayed a huge amount of courage there in the Olympics. Who, who's the better fighter? More skillful, man, I don't know. But if that fight between Riddick Bowe and Lennox Lewis came down to courage, the stuff inside, the difference between great, good, legend, great, I don't know. Would that have been challenged? I tell you this, if so, I give the fight to Lennox Lewis. Showbiz the adult. I mean, look here. Rock Newman, he didn't want Reddick Bowe to fight Lennox Lewis. Reddick Bowe could have said, I'm fighting him. Trash can't drop. Probably the biggest duck I've ever seen. I'm out.